Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to do nodal analysis for a water injection well in PipeSim software. We are now in PipeSim. Okay, first general, let's call it water injection well. It is an active well. And for a well type, make sure you choose this one, injection, check valve setting, block reverse. You can also input your comments here. And then we go to tubulars. We select for the mode, detailed, or you can also select simple, okay? Dimension option, we prefer wall thickness. And first for the casing, the bottom will be at 8,000 feet with internal diameter of 6.3. 366 and then for the wall thickness 0 0.317 with roughness as per default okay and then we add our tubing we can drag this icon there to and set it here okay we call it tubing the bottom of our tubing will be located at 8,200 and we need to revise it. The bottom of our casing will be located at 8,600 feet. And then for the internal diameter of our tubing, 3.548 with wall thickness of 0 0.226 and roughness of 0 0.001. All right. So far, so good. And then we go to deviation survey. We will construct a vertical well. All right, so for the depth reference. All right, so for the depth reference, we select original RKB, well have depth zero, and bottom depth, of course, 8,600 feet. All right, and then we go to downhole equipment. We will install our packer. All right, it is active. And we will locate our packer at 8,190 feet. Okay, you can see our packer here. All right, we won't install any artificial leaf for our water injection well. And then we go to heat transfer. Okay, for U value input, we will choose multiple. And then for the ambient temperature input, multiple as well, depth option, measured depth. We have our data from zero depth with 45 degrees Fahrenheit and U value of two. Okay, and then at 8,500, the reservoir temperature is 190 and U value of two also. All right, you can see the plot here. Now we go to completions. We add the completion. All right, we can call it completion. Vertical, single point, and the middle of the perforation, we will locate at 8,500 feet. All right, and it is active. The type is, of course, perforation. And for the IPR model, we prefer well PI, okay, well productivity index. So we will provide the pipe seam with productivity index value. Okay, for the reservoir pressure, 3,800 PSI. Reservoir temperature, again, 190. IPR basis liquid. And for the productivity index, we input 24 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Okay, no need to check this one. Use Vogel below bubble point pressure because we will perform nodal analysis for water. All right, our fluid is water. So no issue with this one. Okay, and then we need to input our fluid model. We click this one, new, okay. All right, now we need to input 
information for our fluid model. We call it water and water cut off, of course, 100% because it's only water. And we change it from GOR because we will not involve oil to GLR. Okay, and we input zero because there is no gas. All right, and for gas specific gravity, we can leave it as it is. API also because we will not involve any gas or oil. And for water specific gravity, 1.02, close. No need to input information for sand. And we can see the reservoir. Yeah, you can see the IPR has been constructed, right, using the productivity index. So it's a constant productivity index. There will be no curvature in our IPR plot. It is a straight line IPR because we use productivity index. All right, so far so good. You can also see the table for our IPR by clicking this one, right? The flow rate and the flowing pressure. All right.